G'day everyone, Be Asian Dad here. Dale has actually done a refresh on the Latitude series, uh, anyway ranging from the 3000, 5000 and the 7000 series. If you know a lot of the Latitude series, they went from the first number is usually to deal with the actual model number, so 3 being the base 6, 5 is the usual normal one, and the 7 is the more of a lightweight series. And then the second number is to deal with how big the screen is, so 2 would mean 12 inch, 3 would mean 13 inch, 4 is 14 inch and 5 is 15 inch screens. And then the next number, which is then usually the model series number, and that's where the difference is. So they already hit the 9 and of course logically they go back to 0, so they actually now the new ones will be, for example, uh, 54 used to be 90, would now be 54,000. The other thing that's nice to see is Dell's got a new dock. Now, it's called the WD-19. Now, I'll probably end up doing some unboxing of those as I get them in. It comes in actually three flavors. So you'll get the WD-19. Now, this one is the usual one with the USB-C with DisplayPort. Uh, it doesn't have any Thunderbolt, so that's more for the non-Thunderbolt chipsets, laptops. And then they've got the WD-TB. Now, that's the Thunderbolt version of it and then they've got the WD-19 DC. Now the DC is pretty much for the more powerful, just require power requirements. Uh, it's probably more for the precision laptops. So all three of them, the actual ports, all are all the same, besides of course the TB and the DC. Instead of your USB-C just display, these are Thunderbolt versions. Going back to the WD-19, just a simple version of it, I'll just explain what's ports they've got. In the front ports you'll see USB-C, uh, USB 3.1 port and an audio combo port. Now on the side you'll see a Kensington lock and also a Noble lock which is pretty nice to see the two different types of locks. On the back you will see an audio combo, you have two normal display ports, HDMI port, two USB 3.1, an Ethernet port, and, and of course the AC power port. Now this is a much bigger dock compared to the WD-15. It does ship with the 180 watt power supply, but the WD-19 DC is shipped with the 250 watt power supply. Once I get these docks in, I will be able to test them out myself on how the display works for free monitors support. But what I've been told is the WD-19, just the normal one. Now that one can do free monitors at two 1080p monitors and one 4K monitor. Now with the WD-19 TB and DC model, now those ones can drive two 4K monitors and one 5K monitor. Now, once I get this in, I'll be hopefully be able to have a play with that and see how they work in free monitor configurations. Also with the WD-19 DC dock, it actually comes out with two USB-C plugs, which also you can use single on or you can snap together. And now this one again is for the power hungry notebooks more for positions that actually require more power so you can actually plug both of them in together. If you have any questions about these three new docks put a comment below and it just make sure I will when I get to do the unboxing that I will actually cover those topics as well. And if you enjoyed this video give it a like and of course if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. It does support me and I do try to upload every Tuesdays and Fridays. And as always, remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you in the next video.